Hello, my name is Tom Rinkowski and welcome to this video on how to use Degreed. Degreed is a learning experience platform and it lets you find learning easily, share learning easily and build a lifelong learning record, a collection of your learning. You can see here I'm on the home page and I'm going to be going through two basic features in Degreed, the ability to search for and find content and then the ability to add to your collection, that lifelong learning record. On the home page, on the left hand side, are some of the skills and topics that I identified when I first registered with Degreed. These are things that I'm interested in learning about and developing. In the top right hand corner, you have the option of searching for any topic or learning area. You're also presented when you click into it, some of the existing skills that you identified. I'm going to click on a topic here and what Degreed's doing right now, it's, it's searching through over 1300 learning content providers and presenting to me what they offer, the courses, the videos, the podcasts, the books and the articles. And it looks like that what there are 37,000 results just for active listening. I'm going to filter just for courses. And I have the ability to filter even further for specific providers, uh, formats, the cost, if you're looking for something that might be free, uh, difficulty levels and sessions. The filter that I like to use the most is actually the duration. So I'm going to filter for courses that are less than 10 minutes long. Here I'm being given 10 results. It looks like they're from the Accenture Academy and they're less than 10 minutes long, which is great. Now, you can see content cards here that let you take a brief view of the content. You can click through and take the content. Once you've taken the content or taken that course or read that article, when you mark it as complete, Degreed will ask you what you learned about, and then it will be stored in your collection or your lifelong learning record. You can also, on the content card, share that piece of content with a friend or colleague and bookmark it and save it for later. One of the downfalls is that you do have to have your friend or colleague already registered in Degreed in, in order to be able to share that content item with them. So once the item is stored and marked as read or complete by you, you can retrieve it on your profile here. So I can go and view my collection. And this is now a record, a store of all the learning that I've taken over time. Things that have stuck in my mind that I know that I'd like to retrieve at any point. One thing to note, this, these features are also available in a downloadable mobile app for iOS and Google, and you can get them from the App Store. Uh, all the features that you're seeing here are replicated in that mobile app. So the collection is really useful. Things that I found in Degreed that I found that I learned about are tracked here. But if things that I've learned, articles, books, podcasts aren't in Degreed already, I can simply add to my collection by clicking this plus symbol. You can pick any item or asset that you've learned from and Degreed will ask you for the URL of that asset. It will grab some of the metadata, the information about it and store it in your record so you can retrieve it later. Some of the other things that you can add to your profile are perhaps your degree a certification or award that you might have received. So these are two of the basic features, that ability to search and find content really powerfully across so many providers, and then the ability to go through learning that's stuck in your mind that you want to retrieve at any point. I hope you found this useful. I'll be doing some more videos for how to curate pathways and build plans using Degreed so you can share your learning with others. So please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning more. Thank you for watching.